So we are right back into another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. This one, we're going to take a quick look at all three of the newly revealed uh, secret rares for set eight, starting with this one, Vegeta. But before I do that, um, I did want to go ahead and uh, start a giveaway. And if you look into the link below in the description, there's a link to Gleam in which all you really have to do is be subscribed. If not, subscribe if you are new first and then um, enter for uh, your choice of a mag box. And uh, that is the magnificent box. And what I want to do with this is basically every two weeks, starting from today, every other Friday basically until the week before Christmas, I want to start doing giveaways for like starter decks and um, other things like the gift box and, and things like that and kind of return to all the viewers and things and things of that nature basically um, and also for the push for 4,000 so please please subscribe if you're new share let everybody know um, trying to do this until Monday and then two weeks from now uh, do it until the next Monday and so on and so forth so that way people can have some gifts maybe even give it to your uh, significant other, family, whatever, friends, all that other stuff. Anyway, let's look at some ultimates. This one right here, also, shout out to Dragon Ball Super Card Game, uh, you know, Facebook. Please go back to the strategy uh, page. Make a nice little strategy page because that, that would be nice instead of just going back to this, face, this Facebook photo. Um, this one is the blue-green ultimate. A lot of people were kind of a little... Uh, disappointed that he wasn't a red ultimate or a yellow ultimate or a red yellow ultimate. I had a feeling that if they had two or three super uh, secret rares, it was going to be another ultimate that had that red yellow uh, archetype, and that was the Baby Janemba that we're going to take a look at uh, right now. I think blue is a pretty good color for uh, Vegeta in general. Obviously, it doesn't fit the the GT archetype in, in red and yellow. But it's really no big deal. I think for this one, a rival three blue and two green, which is sort of the whole thing of um, being very specific in in what you want to, uh, you know, like all the other ultimates have very specific colors, and you really have to be careful with that. It's one of those things that if you just don't have those colors, you're gonna misplay pretty hard if you don't charge what what you need to charge basically. And they're getting very specific for balance as well. Like if, I don't know if everybody's been noticing this as far as the very specific uh, red yellow for baby, uh, very specific like big boy monsters like. Uh, for arrival and as well as other six, seven, eight drops, um, they're very, very specific, and I would highly recommend to to watch out for that when you actually do play these cards. Anyway, when you play this card, you choose one. If it's your turn, you gain double strike, critical, and triple attack, which just is a lot for a 40k body. And then during your opponent's turn, you get to choose one of their opponent's cards, ignoring barrier and placing in the drop area, and then basically ramp two from your energy. If you're paying five, you're gonna get to seven, and then at, on your turn you get to eight, and then basically it's a perfect thing uh, for Android 21, which is the eight drop, uh, blow up energy, uh, blow up battle cards, all that other stuff. I think for this, it's kind of shit without deflect <laughs> in a world and meta and format that we have a lot of counterplays uh it is very susceptible to question ball is very susceptible to uh frost deadly poison to champa etc i think more often than not people will be using this for uh, a 40k body removal and as well as ramp two i think if you are in the right sort of situation in which they don't have open energy you defend it as much as you can you're playing control deck you're doing whatever it may be this allows for some some versatility and uh to play this card on your turn in which you can go ahead and end the game because a 40k double strike critical uh triple attacker like you're gonna you're, you're gonna take that like there's <laughs> they're like it's like by the time you actually have this uh on the board on your turn and you know for sure that they don't have crusher ball or whatever it may be then this is really good. And I think this card, and as well as a number of other cards, maybe even the Janemba, the Demigra Secret Rare, um, the SS4 Goku, uh, the, uh, the Goku and Oob Secret Rare, all those other Secret Rares um, uh, are, are now susceptible to the new counterplay, the one drop uh, Crusher Ball, the this one, the Super Gallic Gun. Basically, if your leader card is yellow, or four or less, four or less, and you have a multicolor in your energy, your uh, you can go ahead and pay it for free basically and now whatever battle card uh, is being played is going to be played in rest mode and even if like if you if you're going against a yellow leader 
this should be a good sideboard card for them. I, I don't know if a main board card would be good for it. The other three counterplay cards specific to the colors are much better because it stops plays. This one is good for the most part if you think that you can go ahead and tap out your four or less and you're you're gonna go against something like that that uh vegeta card anyway i think overall it's a really good card it's probably gonna see more play on the defense side um it's not searchable unfortunately uh and it's blue green perfect for hurigan blue green soul striker blue green uh android 21 android 18 um gogeta ramp if you're playing the blue green version i'm working on that that's some, that's some fun stuff i'm telling you <laughs> and then a number of other stuff like I, I think it's really good all right moving on to the baby janemba this one i haven't i haven't really talked through uh i did go ahead and post both this one and the vegeta i just didn't post the the super dragon ball one uh on the community tab but this one is another ultimate oh wow who knew? It's a eight drop in which you pay two red and, and three yellow for an activate main in which um, they have basically a choice. Like they have offering as soon as you play it, which is separate separate from the activate main. And when you choose the, when you play the, uh, when you basically when you pay the to two red and, and three yellow, they can choose three cards from their life and place in the drop area. If they do, you play this card from your hand, um, from your hand in your drop area, replace it in your hand to your drop area. And if they don't, then you play this card from your hand and then choose one of their opponent's leader card. You don't have to choose it if you don't want to, which would be kind of silly. <laughs> and then it gets uh, negative 30k power for the race in the turn. Both this one and as well as the last one, like it's they're both situations in which, you know, they're they're not going to take this three life. Like if it means to lose the game. Um, so that means this this is probably going to be coming out, which means they're going to create a life or you're going to draw two. So overall, in the general retrospect and as well as just on paper this one is probably the best uh, secret rare out of all three of them that we that we have right now simply because of all the interactions and as well as just how how this is designed like i, I love how all three of these are designed but this one in particular because of the offering because of the activate main from hand in which you basically can't cold blast it um because they're playing they're they're basically activating from main from hand you're, you're not playing the card until it's being put on on the um on the field from the otherwise and then play this hand that's that's how i understand it. if i'm if i'm wrong definitely let me know but by the time that you just get onto the field you can go ahead and um and <clears throat> minus 30k in which a 15k leader is now minus 15 it does work that way in which you have to combo up to like if a 15k attacker is swinging at you um let's say <laughs> oh math that you have to meet at least 35 because you have to meet the 15 to zero, 15 again to meet at where they're at, and then 5k more to combo out of it. And that is if they don't combo anything out of it. I think this card is perfect for um, any token based decks like chilled. Like, yes, that is a thing. And I would highly recommend to, to look into that if you haven't already. Um, anything like <laughs> if you if you haven't watched the uh, why Purunga got got banned or the real reason why it got banned, it's the Gotenks uh, tokens and as well as the uh, the other one. I forget what it was. The Gotenks and as well as the baby. The baby card is probably going to be one of the, the most sought after uh, super rares because it is so versatile and really really strong um that in combination with this it's game over honestly because it's going to be either or this one's going to be a five drop or a five cost the other one's going to be a five drop um so i mean it's those kind of interactions as well as those things that you kind of have to watch out for this one i believe is searchable by the baby well it has a lot of tags it has the baby tag has the genema tag and it has the machine mutant tag and i always want to you know um uh you know realize which which kind of you know what what's searchable and what's not when it comes to secret rares because since you are playing a one of uh, you can kind of revolve around that uh, along with other things uh in your deck so for instance like a baby deck can use the dr mew and search out the secret rare and as well as other baby cards uh within it so it's gonna be a machine mutant or baby so there you go uh, and then we have Janemba in which I think the one drop Psyche Demon can choose one Janemba card. So it doesn't have to be a blue one. Uh, but I mean, it is a blue card. So you're going to have to play, you're going to have to play like try, try colored, uh, whatever, <laughs> basically, <laughs> which I'd probably don't recommend seeing as you need the two red and three, three yellow. Uh, the, be the better, the better route for this is probably baby and as well as machine mutants. This one's probably going to be my number one, uh, Vegeta number two, and then this one is going to be my number three. I would love to hear, as far as you guys, 
what you what your top three are uh, as far as all of these secret rares. I think. Oh, by the way, lore lore time trivia time. This one is obviously from GT, the Shadow Dragon uh, Saga, in which hopefully next set or the upcoming set, because the next set supposedly is part of the gods. I would imagine that the blue green. Um, like sort of archetype will be shadow dragons and then the red yellow will be uh more god stuff like we already know the isrs are going to be um the remade leaders but still and then this one is from dragon ball heroes a lot of people were kind of confused of what baby janemba was it's dragon ball heroes that's why it has a special tag there's, there's no there's no special trivia on that it's just dragon ball heroes it's just fan service right um and then the dragon ball zing of energy is from dragon ball gt if you remember basically the 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 dragon balls cracked open and then all uh dragon balls or all shadow dragons came out of the dragon balls so ah, neither here nor there um this one has an ultimate tag it does not have the dragon ball tag uh, a lot of people were kind of talking about that as well i was thinking about that when i saw it i was just like you know what if it had the dragon ball tag it'd be kind of busted Ah, it doesn't have it so this one's a really good one-time use i don't think there's other cars that search out i think there's a trunks or something like that or uh maybe a, a like a videl or something that gets something out of the drop uh that's an extra card this one says uh reduce the cost of this card by your hand or in your hand by one for each battle card in your drop or, uh, drop area and then in the turn activate battle choose all of your all battle cards ignoring barry oh wait huh oh oh my okay so it says I didn't realize this. Uh, at the end of the turn, choose all battle cards, ignoring Barry, and place them in the owner's drop areas. Huh. So basically, it is a dark hole. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's that's really what it is. At first, I thought it was the um, the turn player or like the opponents, basically, like remove all dragon or all battle cards at first. But now that I read it again, it is all battle cards. So um, I'm trying to wonder what this will be really good in. I think it's uh, probably catered more towards Hachiak, if anything, because of the drop area and battle cards uh, re uh, reduction costs. Um, I mean, it it doesn't have the Dragon Ball tag, so you probably wouldn't be playing it in Shenron. Uh, I mean, probably Gogeta BR would be pretty good for this. Uh, you're going to have to swing with everything and then go ahead and activate battle and do that. Uh, this will probably be better... Yeah, it would probably be better on the opponent's side because by the time that they go ahead and uh, do do everything, they're going to swing with everything in, in expectation of that. It's sort of like Topo and as well as uh, Nimbus. Like, they're going to go ahead and swing with what they can and then go ahead and pass turn. Speaking of, uh, if, they, if you do this on their turn, Topo, Nimbus, uh, a number of other cards that kind of uh, prevent attacks is probably going to be best uh, in compilation with this. The, the issue what I have with this card is most likely that it's an ultimate, right? <laughs> like you're, you're forgoing and uh, choosing not to play any other ultimate um, in, in uh, comparison or at least in replacement with this one. Or basically you're playing this compared to everything else. Like you're, you're, you're not playing Baby, you're not playing Vegeta, you're not playing Demigra, you're not playing um, any other secret rare that could win you the game. And I think that's a huge thing to really consider. Like, is board wiping, is a removal of everything worth it um, when you have other choices within an archetype? Like, if you're playing Goji to BR, are you going to be playing, um, you know, the Frieza uh, SER, or are you going to be playing this? Uh, or the uh, Raditz SER, right? It's it's those things that you kind of have to consider. Uh, same thing for Hachiak. Are you going to be playing the Demigod Secret Rare, or are you going to be playing this one, right? Um, it just really depends on what you what you cater towards your or cater your deck towards, and uh, I think this is an overall really good card for the game, in which the permanent really regulates what you need to do, uh, or how you can use it. And the other part of it is not having a, a Dragon Ball tag is really smart of Bandai to do as well. But overall, the third one out of all the three, uh, they're all really good. I I really do like the Vegeta. Uh, I'm probably going to be trying to get the baby uh, baby Janemba, if anything, because it's probably the 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 better of all all of them. Um, but I'm curious of what everybody else thinks. Think, let me know in the uh, comments below. Check out the description for the con or the giveaway. Actually, not a contest. Uh, join the Discord for any of the untapped tourneys. We're going to be doing a waifu female only leader tourney pretty soon here. Uh, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later. Stop.